I'm standing in the lobby of the Washington County Courthouse, where residents of Marietta, Ohio, as well as other local areas, frequently come for their legal needs. This courthouse alone has three courtrooms, including a juvenile courtroom located in the annex of the building. The last couple of weeks have shown a rise in appearances of courtrooms on TV, but not because they're becoming popular, but because of a certain trial surrounding the tragic events of a certain national icon's death. And that national icon is Anna Nicole Smith. New information now on Anna Nicole Smith. Who is entitled to the custody of the remains of Anna no Nicole Smith? Are you or are you not the biological father of Danny Lynn under the laws of this state? Objection. The tragedy of Anna Nicole's death comes from more than just how she died, but also from the fact that she was nowhere near legally prepared for her death, leaving the guardian of her daughter, Daniel Lynn, in question and her estate worth millions up for grabs. So how does one prevent their own death from becoming a circus in the courts? Dr. Dan Huck, a professor at Marietta College and a licensed attorney, provides some answers. Well, uh, there are two main concerns uh, for uh, issues uh, related to your life once you're dead. One is, what are we going to do with your property? And the second is, what we're going to do with your body? Uh, there can be a third issue if you have children who are still not of legal age. So any child under 18. Uh, that's an issue. You've got to have a will. A will is the foundation on which all of these decisions will be made by people who are there to take care of your death. Um, a will, in most people's minds, take, uh, takes care of property, and that's true, but it also is an opportunity for you to make general statements about what you want to happen um, with your body, with the ceremonies related to your body, etc. In addition, the will should account for what's to be done with the guardianship of minor children. So just when is the right time to prepare these documents? People think that a will doesn't make sense to do until you're very old, but in many ways, uh, people who live to an old age are the people who are least in need of a will because in many cases they've already given away property to their children or grandchildren or maybe to some kind of institution that they wanted to give their life savings to, etc. If you've settled in, if you've got uh, a vehicle and furnishings and things that, that are heirlooms to you, then it's probably time to do a will. So remember, if you're over the age of 18, it's never too early to plan ahead. Reporting from Marietta College for Hot News, I'm Marianne Gluckel.